Hello, St. Anne's. Mother Jessica here, bringing you greetings from beautiful Shrinemont, our diocesan camp and conference center. Myself, Chris Cameron, and other clergy and lay professionals have gathered here this past week to engage in courageous conversations around race. We cannot wait to share more of our experience with you in the coming weeks. But for right now, I want to extend a special invitation. An invitation for you to join us for worship this Sunday, May 8th at St. Anne's, 8 o'clock in person, 10 o'clock in person, or live streamed, your choice. This Sunday is Mother's Day. I understand that it is such a complex day. For some, it is a joyous, long-awaited occasion to celebrate with a newborn. For others, there might be grief or hurt or conflict and uh, controversy in the complexity of our family dynamics and relationships. Over the years, I have adopted the tradition, instead of solely focusing on our earthly mothers and feminine figures of inspiration, that we take this opportunity to explore God as our divine mother. So often we rely on a patriarchal, fatherly, male-dominant language to express and name God. We pray Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, uh, and it just rolls off the tongue and it's familiar to the heart. But for taking this one day in the year to experience and explore God as mother, it gives our minds, our hearts, and imaginations an opportunity to expand our understanding of our divine creator, to understand what it means to be made in God's image, male and female, and everything in between. And so I invite you, whether this sounds thrilling or terrifying, to come, come to worship on Sunday, experience something new. Notice and pay attention into your body and your soul and your being, how hearing different words describing God impacts your spiritual life. I imagine for many, it will be mind blowing in the best sense. It will be a way of expanding our understanding of the divine. And for some, it may be a challenge. And that is also good information for us to receive about our spiritual lives and our understanding of God. So I invite you, please come and join us on worship this Sunday, May 8th, Mother's Day, experiencing God as our divine mother.